Hi there. In this video, we'll look at congruence standard 12 from the Common Core Standards. The standard here is to do these six construction techniques using a variety of tools. <clears throat> in this video, we'll focus on how to bisect an angle using a compass. Before we jump into the technique, let's do a little background research. Um, if you start with an angle and reflect one of the sides around the other side, you get this picture. Notice that because we reflected it, the figure is symmetric, and so these two angles must be the same. The trick is to be able to do this with a compass. And in order to understand how to do that, let's study this diagram with a triangle in it. I'm just going to reflect the figure around this line right here. And notice that when you do that, um, these two side lengths will be exactly the same, and these two side lengths will be exactly the same. In fact, not only are the sides the same, the angles should also be the same. In particular, this angle would be 39 degrees, this angle would be 31 degrees, and this angle would be 110 degrees. <coughs> Notice how this diagonal of the figure um, bisects this angle and it bisects this angle. In fact, if we were to use a compass uh, in such a way as to create equal side lengths along here, um, it would guarantee that this would be an angle bisector because the triangles would be symmetric. Okay, so with that idea in mind, let's actually do the construction. I'm going to place the pointed end of my compass on the vertex of the angle, which I'm trying to bisect. And what we'll do is draw part of a circle, enough of the circle so that it hits both sides of the angles, and that creates two points here and here to which we can attach our compass. So I'll move the point of the compass to one point of intersection. Just open up my compass a little bit. <coughs> and I'll swivel the compass forming part of a circle. Notice my compass is set at 350 units. And I'll place the point of the compass on the other point of intersection um, the compass setting is still set at 350 units. So when I draw part of a circular arc this way, I know for sure that the point of intersection is exactly 350 units away from this point and from this point. Okay, so with that, I'm going to use my straight line tool to connect the vertex of the angle uh, to the point of intersection we just created using our compass. And the ray that I just created ought to be a perfect angle bisector of this angle. Okay, let's pause and reflect on why this construction technique actually works. So I've drawn even less of the circular arcs here just to avoid any distractions and I'm just going to connect all the important points here. Let me do that again. There we go. Okay, the way we used our compass actually guarantees that the two triangles that are formed here are congruent to each other. Notice that one looks like it's the mirror image of the other, and in fact it is. So we've essentially created a reflection which is why we can be sure that these angles are congruent and that this ray bisects the original angle. Thanks for watching.